I've been riding my beautiful blue Time 80HX for almost a year now, and it's flat out unbelievable as both a fast gravel and road bike. But if you try to run tires much bigger than 38, you're going to be disappointed, which has been an echoing refrain since it launched. As you probably know by now, Time heard our cries and has answered them with the all new 80HX45. I built mine about a week ago and I've got two solid gravel rides under my belt. So this video is going to be a quick overview along with my first impressions of the bike. I've also put together another video that can help you choose the right time for your needs and you'll see a longer, more in-depth review in a few months once I have more time on board the 45. The ADHX 45 uses all the same patented time technology as its older brothers like Dyneema to add strength and stiffness at the lug joints and resin transfer molding to ensure a picture-perfect finished product. All the hallmarks of a fine hand-built frame are still there. Time didn't take any shortcuts or rush this bike to market. And in order to accommodate the much needed wider tire clearance, they made three key adjustments to the geometry. They added 15 millimeters to the wheelbase, which included a 10 millimeter chainstay increase and an extra three millimeters of fork offset over the standard ADHX. You can also see the same top tube mounting bolts, super clean front derailleur cover system, Kevlar reinforced steer tube, and carbon forged dropouts. And let's not gloss over those last two features like they're just standard stuff. A strong steer tube and dropouts that have 20 times the fatigue life of steel are welcome additions to any off-road bike. Oh, and did I mention the paint? Holy cow, let's just... Take a moment here and admire the absolute mastery behind the orange to red sparkle fade on my frame. Wow. Wow. So how does all this really come together? Is it really that different from the ADHX? The answer is honestly no, but that no is a really good no because the ADHX is a really good bike and you really don't want the 45 to be that different. So. You get the same road bike-like acceleration and responsiveness, but it's coupled with the ability to run larger tires. And even though it's only about seven millimeters more tire clearance, the difference is huge when you're navigating true gravel, not the champagne gravel we have here in SoCal. And the longer wheelbase and chain stays also improve stability, handling, and vertical compliance, especially when descending and cornering. And time will tell on this next thing because I haven't tested it as a full-on road bike yet, but my prediction is that I'm going to come back in a few months and tell you this is the best all-rounder in Time's lineup. It's got all the telltale signs of a quiver killer, and I can't wait to throw some skinny tires on it and find out. 